Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, just fancy playing a game on the Pandora's Box 5. I uh, haven't played a game in a while, so I uh, thought I would uh, have a go at this game. This is Metamorphic Force. Uh, this was an arcade game. It was released by Konami. Yeah, Konami in August 1993. And um, yeah, similar see there one of the characters I picked this dude a large big character sprites um, which I always love in the game but uh, yeah it's very similar to uh, Konami's earlier um, side scrolling beat em up game uh, X-Men which is still one of my favourites to this uh, or favourites to this day uh, completed that back in the day in the early 90s in the arcades with my uh, was at college at the time 1991 uh, to 93 and uh, during that period this was in the local arcades. Uh, it was a small town in the, uh, in the UK, in DC, uh, I was at the time, back in the day and uh, went to the local college near there. Me and my mates went down the arcades and this game was there, uh, well X-Men was there in the six player, six player format and um, yeah, just good memories. We actually completed that. I think it cost us all of our beer money at the time, but great game. But anyway, yeah, straight off the point there. So kicking ass. Uh, turned into a beast here. A, a, um, sort of a panther or something. So, uh, yeah, it plays quite quick actually. Similar to X Men. I know I keep. Uh, Saying it's it's similar, but uh, but it but it really is. I don't know what that dude was. He just ran past the screen there with his uh, little swag bag. Not sure whether he meant to hit him for some bonus goodies, but uh, yeah, pretty pretty decent. Apparently, this runs on the same hardware as uh, a ninja themed game, Mystic Warriors, um, and this was one of the uh, one of Konami's um, last side-scrolling beat 'em ups to appear in the arcades. Uh, along with Violent Storm, which is another great game that I played. Uh, did a playthrough of that uh, a while ago, so that is on my uh, on my YouTube channel, so check that video out. It's lizard uh, reptilians throwing... Uh, humanoid reptilians throwing uh, fire Molotov cocktails at me. Have a look at things. And what is this? A boss? Yeah, fantastic. just love it in games where you can hit them when they're down, you can get a lot of damage in, which is always nice. Uh, up the energy when I can. Is that guy again? Can I get him? Yes, he drops some goodies from his swag bag. Use my special. Cut the life. What's he doing? He's crying. I thought it was going to turn into some hideous, massive monstrosity and kick the shit out of me, but he didn't, and that's the first level done. Stage 2. I'm not sure how many stages are on this uh, game, but uh, graphically it's pretty good. Plays quite well. Okay, we've got some weird... Hey, Humanoid hedgehogs or porcupines? Sure, hedgehogs, yeah. Large hedgehogs. You turn back to the man, normal human form, after your beast powers run out, um, but when your energy gets low, I think. And, uh, you know, you're a lot weaker. So, prove that there as I, as I died. Back on the screen now. But as we can see there, my energy bar is one of these systems that um, starts on a, on a number, it was in the 140s there, and it's uh, rapidly uh, decreasing as I'm getting hit. Also, I think over time it decreases. I think they did that with uh, uh, Crime Fighters, not the Japanese release, but I think it was the European release. I could be wrong there. 
but uh, they, they did it in some uh, arcade games. It was cheap really, it was a way to get you to put more money in, so even if you did really well at the game, over time you would lose your health and uh, you would have to insert more credits. I mean, generally these type of games I put, uh, I have to put loads of credits in anyway, but uh, I'll get from those fire sticks. I just like these games, especially on a on a Friday night, guys, or on the weekend when I, especially on Friday night as it is tonight, because I just want to unwind. I just want to uh, put a game on where I don't really have to think. I'm not bothered about completing these games with one credit, trying to do a one credit or one coin run through of the game would be nice, but not bothered. Just want to have a bit of fun, casual gamer, and play the game in a while. So. Uh, do this, there's a guy again, he just runs on. Get his stuff out of his bag. Yeah, I've not actually played any games for a while. I've done some I've done a few videos, unboxings and um, pickups of my arcade um, different arcade boards and games that I've recently picked up. And I enjoy doing that stuff, but uh, I do enjoy the gameplay. No, I just don't get enough time playing the games. I've finished my studying, uh, my master's degree is all finished, uh, and I did actually pass. So, uh, yeah, really, really, really happy about that. Uh, I didn't actually think I would pass, but yeah, so I have a master's degree in advanced networking, so uh, I work as a network engineer, so it's all uh, job related, but the master's was something I did for for my own satisfaction and personal achievement really, not really for um, career progression. Because I'm still working as a network engineer, I might be able to get more senior positions, but um, yeah, really, really happy to have that. It took me, uh, took me seven years um, studying for that, for that masters, to be honest with you. Uh, and prior to that, I'd done my um, bachelor's, um, bachelor's degree and uh, that took me uh, a long time as well so pretty much for the last 15 years constantly I've been studying so uh, yeah happy that the studying's over but uh, at the same time I kind of don't know what to do with myself uh, when you get into study mode you kind of always have to study so I don't know I might look at doing something else down the line I don't know but uh, for the time being I enjoy playing some games uh, against this uh, humanoid Phoenix by the look of it. Um, he's got a sword, turn into the beast. So much better when you turn into the beast in this game. <laughs> turn into the beast. That reminds me of uh, the film, uh, I don't know if you guys have seen uh, Split um, and Glass, uh, which is the trilogy actually, um, the last part in the trilogy. But I thought that was really clever how they made it. Um, you know, Unbreakable, which is still my favourite out of all three, but then they, they tied all of the, um, they tied that and split together uh, in the final three glass, and, and I thought it was a pretty decent film actually, but I really did enjoy it, watch that the other one, um, the beast in that, but it wasn't a panther, it's a man that just uh, got um, superhuman strength, climbed walls and everything, and, and it was really tough, but, uh, but anyway, if you haven't seen that guys, check it out. Here we're going to break the statue. It's always funny in these games, isn't it? Like um, these games, or this game, and uh, the street fighters where you have yeah, to smash a car or barrels or whatever. Um, all for bonus points. That's what these uh, sections are for. Use my special there, which is pretty decent. time and I do a little, a little funny dance. We're on to stage three already guys. So let's get through. Pretty enjoyable game this. Never ever 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 seen it before in my life. But um, yeah I mean just like Konami, the other Konami uh, games in this genre. 
were just excellent, weren't they? Um, back in the day, I'd like to keep saying, X Men was absolutely superb. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, superb. Violent Storm, excellent. Um, we also had The Simpsons, which was superb. And uh, probably my favourite game in the genre, uh, in this genre, by Konami at this moment in time is obviously the sequel to uh, Crime Fighters. Crime Fighters 2 in Japan, or Vendetta, I recently did uh, an unboxing of the arcade PZB of that game, uh, and I absolutely love it. It's, that is just stuck in my uh, yeah, Astro City at the moment, and I play that all the time, but uh, it's just an amazing game. Not too difficult, which I like. So, uh, but yeah, you've got these humanoid elephants now. So, uh, just smash these guys up. Turn into the beast. I like the beast transformations. They are really, really good. Wondering how much this uh, arcade PCB board goes for. Probably a lot. Konami ones do generally um, demand quite a lot of uh, money. Turtle Simpsons are all expensive. Uh, X Men obviously quite expensive. There's a few others as well. I've got a good deal on the Vendetta board that didn't cost me a hell of a lot of money, but well worth it because it's just stuck in my arcade machine. Um, and it, although these games, I mean, this runs well never played the arcade original but it runs well on the Pandora's Box 5 uh, which I'm playing this on at the moment and uh, it's really convenient playing games on that lets me capture them in HD through the Elgato capture device and uh, yeah it's just really great gives me a you know, way to test the games but one thing I've noticed especially with picking up uh, Vendetta arcade uh, original arcade board um, is playing that compared to playing it on the Pandora's box, which I never would have noticed had I not picked up the original arcade board, is the graphical glitches. Um, and there are some, some graphics, I might do a comparison video uh, one day when I get a chance, but yeah, there are definite graphical glitches on that game, uh, which are not on the original arcade machine. Um, you know, certain graphics, uh, certain sprites and everything that are just out of place in it that aren't on the original board. So, um, yeah, it just makes you wonder if uh, if the other games have got glitches. Well, I know they have um, Golden Axe, for example. Uh, it's got sound issues and a few of the other games as well. You notice screen tearing and things like that, which you don't get on the original boards. But, you know, it's not to say the Pandora's box, it serves a purpose. I still love having it, I still play on it, it's just convenience. Uh, you plug it in, plug it in straight to your telly, and uh, you've got 700, 800, 900 games on it, and it's, you know, it's absolutely brilliant. Convenience lets you test them all out, and uh, like I just said, to capture the gameplay as well, through the capture device, just look straight up and you can capture it. And it's brilliant, great way to test the games, but my favorite games in here, I always prefer original hardware, uh, so, yeah, there's a few more that I'm going to pick up um, you know, over time because they are, it is an expensive hobby. But, uh, yeah, we're fighting this guy here. Grab hold of him. He's flashing a uh, different colour when he's almost dead. Uh, X Men did that in that game, which was nice. I do prefer the, um, the enemy to have energy bars so you know exactly how much health they've got, but this is a nice touch anyway. Dead again. Oh no, I'm not. I will be dead soon. I am dead now. Using a lot of continues now. Uh, the game's getting a little bit tougher. Turn into the beast. That's it, his head falls off, get loads of treasure, loads of life, more points, done another level. Stage 4, I'm not sure how many stages are in this game like I said but uh, 
Who is these? Oh, we've got humanoid frogs now. Are they frogs? <laughs> I love the way they just come out of that. Um, well, I was going to say it was a cave, but it's more like a tree trunk. Well, I was going to say that they're sort of ogres or something, but they look uh, part pig, humanoid pigs with big uh, clubs. <laughs> that, that's really good. Look at that tree that's... Uh... <laughs> oh, I was never going to get away from that, was I? He's got some nifty moves though, it's the, uh, just this normal man. Right, look at this. Weird, uh, weird Cyclops uh, monsters. Funny how they leave that um, man that runs on with the uh, bag over his shoulder. They, they, the creatures leave him alone, so I oh, don't need to their head. Like a lot of games, uh, this style, you do get a lot of um, repeat of the, the enemy characters. Though what they just do is just do a, a colour swap. So it appears like you're, you're fighting a variety, wide variety of enemies. And don't get me wrong, there are a, a few different types in this game, but the, I'm noticing just a colour palette swap, which I do in a lot of these games, and um, just to. Uh, just to give the appearance that, that you find different characters, but not really. They're still good though. Oh, battering these uh, these frogs. Fitting boomerangs, seeing as I'm in Australia. Oh, it's bloody cold here now in Australia. I hate it this time of the year. Um, it's the last couple of weeks it's turned really cold, but it is winter time here. Uh, and for the next um, two to three months, it's going to be uh, pretty cold. When I say cold, um, it's, it's actually warmer outside than it is indoors. I mean, most of these, oh, look at this two-headed 
two-headed monstrosity. Now. Yeah, generally in these houses in Australia, they're, they're um, built to keep the, um, the heat out. So in the winter time, when it does drop in temperature, and it's only dropped to the cold, coolest it's got is 1920 outside. So still relatively warm compared to obviously the UK where I'm from. But if you become accustomed to the, the warm heat, you sort of acclimatise or whatever. But, um, but yeah, the inside of the house is no central heating or anything else. So the last week, um, picked up some heaters, gas heaters, and uh, yeah, they warm the house up, but they are needed. All the dressing gowns and all wrapped up in the evenings, but um, I yeah, hate it this time of the year. But uh, I shouldn't grumble, it's only for two to three months it's, it's cooler here. And the rest of the year it, it's baking, so... Um, but anyway, off the point. Talk about the boomerangs, and I've gone on about central heating. But uh, anyway, we'll kill this uh, two-headed demon. He's flashing. Put him when he's down. Grabs me, throws me across the screen. Sorts of wrestling moves on me now. Back to the human. This isn't, isn't going to end well. Dead soon. Oh, that was a nice way to uh, finish him off. Turn into the beast. Oh, I haven't finished him off. Yes, I have. And that is another level done. So what level is that now? I'm not sure how many levels are in this game. But, uh, pretty enjoyable, pretty straightforward. Bonus stage. This is pretty good. I'm meant to be hitting everyone now. Avoiding people. Oh, that's pretty cool. Reach the goal though. Stage 5. This is the last stage. Time for you to die. This is interesting, in the, uh, in the arena fighting some, uh, not sure what creature she is. She looks like some sort of feline or something, um, dressed uh, in a very skimpy outfit. Doing some very uh, provocative moves. Going down on the ground, kicking up with one leg. Always good. There it goes again. Smack her when she's down. She's dead. Oh, who's she calling? Oh, is that the end of the stage? It's quite, uh, quite a short level. 
damn it. Final stage, okay, so that was a very bizarre stage just now, just now, it wasn't actually a stage, it was just one boss, but this is the final stage, so uh, let's see if we can get through this, it's definitely a game I would play again though. These are some sort of uh, not sure what they are. Some sort of beetle or something. I always find that annoying in games where uh, you're able to beat the enemy but uh, it's the background um, objects that they put on that, that come crashing down that end up killing me. I hate that. So who is this? Some weird robot gladiator by the look of things. This, that's pretty good. The way they were climbing up the walls thing. <laughs> that's really good. Definitely notice the difference when um, you're not in beast mode. You're so powerful as the beast, as we can see here, but um, when you're just the normal man, you do struggle somewhat. Well, I do anyway. <laughs> It's 
level is pretty long already, uh, which I like, uh, but I can't understand why the last level was just, just one boss, that was it. It wasn't actually a level. Uh, why not just make that um, a little bit longer as well? But uh, obviously I have their reasons. Here we go, we're the man again. I'm going to get absolutely wasted here. Back to the best. Oh no. They're nasty little fuckers, those uh, four armed creatures. Grab hold of you. Oh, and again. Continue. Come on. Every time, I told you, it moves you to the, uh, to the head. Unbelievable. Away to some other, other, some other plane. He's got some nasty moves. He hasn't turned into some sort of beast, actually. It's just a man, isn't it? An overpowered uh, superhuman. He's got some interesting wrestling moves there. And dragon Punch. And some Fireballs. And Beast Mode. He's absolutely kicking the shit out of me. He's got the in from just 100 hand slap as well. It's got every move here. We killed him at the end of it. Now you'll see my real strength. He's doing something. It's going to change. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's better than my creature anyway. Oh, he's tough. In fairness, he was tough as the, uh, just the normal guy, wasn't he? Again, should help. Some energy. And flies as well.
so he's dead. Grabbed hold of him, gave him a knee to the head. I think we finished him off. He's crying and he's dead. Oh, what's this? That is Phil trying to get away. Definitely dead now. Congratulations. And that's it. Congratulations, we have completed the game. I actually enjoyed playing that, to be honest with you guys. That was pretty enjoyable, just like all the Konami um, beat em ups, uh, side scrolling beat em ups, uh, always great games follow a similar format really enjoyed playing this I uh, haven't played a game in a while so uh, yeah it's good to do another gameplay video hope to get a lot more on the channel uh, in the evening especially at the weekends where I get more time anyway but I uh, hope you enjoyed it guys if you did please hit the thumbs up and um, if you're watching my channel for the first time please subscribe for future videos okay cheers guys <laughs>